booktube i'm nicole and this is dusty book sniffers and today we are talking about the warrior slave queen by morgan rice so let's get started well, good morning everybody no matter where you're watching from thank you for taking some time out of your day and spending it with me while I prattle on about the books that I have read all right so we are talking all things Morgan Rice today she is a new author to me this was a bingo challenge and it was a book that I was meant to read last year now technically I bought this right at the end of 2020 but I did mean to read it in the January of last year and I completely forgot about it I got it through bookbub I get an email on a day on a daily basis from bookbub and they have books that they recommend in there that are are either free or they're cheap and sometimes they come with audio sometimes they don't um, and I get a lot of books from there and it gives me um, things to read that are generally outside my comfort zone or with, right in my comfort zone as well so um, yeah it has been sitting on my Kindle for quite some time because I got the Kindle edition and uh, as I said it was a bingo challenge to read something that you meant to read last year and so I decided I couldn't decide what I wanted to read because there was a couple of books that I had um, that I was meant to read and I didn't get around to it. So I went with this one. This one only had 220 pages in it. Uh, sorry, 250 pages in it. And it is a new series that I've started. It is a young adult fantasy and um, it has got eight books in the series. So they're all real. I've gone and had a look on Kindle and they're all relatively um, short books. They're not ex extremely long they're around the 250 mark I only looked at the first uh, three or four um, so yeah so basically um, I have given this a 3.5 star rating as well because it was a really well um, executed book in my opinion and I was listening I did listen to um, this as well because I got the audio with it and I think the audio was only like a dollar forty nine or sort of three forty nine or something like that, and the actual book itself was free. So essentially, it cost me um, three dollars forty nine for the audio book, which I'm not going to say no to that. Um, so it's as I said, it is um, a young adult fantasy, and um, it has sort of got like I get a, a Greek a gladiator vibe from it so it, it's definitely got the Greek names and everything in it and it does feel very gladiator orientated because there's a lot of fighting and fighting against beasts and and um, slaves and all that sort of stuff so I definitely got that vibe from it the as I said the pacing was great like it moved along really really well um, I did like I started reading it on Kindle and then um, I picked up the audio while I was driving down to um, down to uh, Brisbane and basically yeah I really enjoyed it I ignored the children and just listened to my book so the story follows a 17 year old Sirius and she comes from a poor family her father actually uh, forges the swords that uh, the warriors use uh, for fighting and stuff like that and she delivers it to the training ground and she secretly trains dresses up as a boy and trains and learns their what they um, are teaching there and all that sort of stuff because she's about to be sold into slavehood and she's not really impressed with that and girls aren't allowed to fight she has a secret power like that no one knows about and um, she uses it and she's quite a taken back by it and we still haven't really learnt much about that at this point in time um, but she was thrusted into the fighting arena as a um, she gives the the uh, weapons she's a weapon she passes on the weapons to the people that are fighting and so she is with Thanos and hits Prince Thanos and um, he's a little bit taken with her and she accidentally uses her power in front of everybody and then she's imprisoned for that and so wrongfully imprisoned and so basically um and and he, I forget the other guy's name there's a guy the villain in it all um he forces her to, oh that's right she sorry I'll start again she was wrongly imprisoned because she was provoked because um, he forces her to fight and she fights and then he does something to her and she slaps him and then he is a, a prince and basically he gets his nose out of joint and he's and she's thrown into prison but Thanos is also a, a prince as well although he's not a direct descendant from the king and the queen and he's quite taken with her and subsequently he tries to um 
he wants to 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 be with her and all the rest of it but she's betrothed he's betrothed to someone else and then so that love interest comes into it and causes some problems and then basically gets her her locked up and yeah and the story goes on from there there's lots of other stuff going on in the background there is resistance fighting as well so her brothers are also in it and they're in the resistance and she's in the palace because she's um helping the resistance basically from within and so yeah and then the book ended and so now i'm really keen to pick up the next books and so i've um got them on kindle already books two and three and i'm thinking i'm going to read them this week because i really really enjoyed this and i want to know more and i'm not usually drawn into um YA fantasy that quickly and I just really want to see that and Morgan Rice has got a lot of books out at first I thought she was related to uh is it Anne Rice and I did a little bit of research she's not um I thought she might have been the daughter I didn't know much about Anne Rice because I've never read any of her stuff my best friend um when I was younger was right into Anne Rice and um so yeah so that's how I know about her and I just thought I wonder if she is uh, related or not but she's not um sadly Anne rice's daughter passed away when she was five or six from leukemia in the 70s so sadly she's not but either way um she has the the same name and um i really enjoyed this book so i'm very keen to pick up the next ones uh as i said i've already purchased them and i gave this a three and a half star rating now it wasn't a phenomenal book and that's why i've marked it down but it was close to being in my what i consider to be a phenomenal book and that's why it's got a three and a half star rating because it, it is very very close to a four star rating because it just it just the story drew me in and had me captivated from the beginning so i was pretty happy with with um i should have read it and i probably would have finished the series by now but as it turns out i didn't so that's where we're at and as i said i'm looking forward to reading uh book two and three in the the coming few, oh, they're there and i want to start reading them there is one big book that i have to read beforehand but anyway it is what it is and i will get to them when i get to them but that is it from me today have a wonderful day everybody if you haven't yet liked or subscribed please like and subscribe uh, to the channel and like this video but as I said that's it for me have a wonderful day and I will see you all again in the next video bye for now